see you guys are freaking unreal, man. I know I've said it like five times already, but let me just stop taking my hands out for this. Let me, listen, we just got home literally yesterday from our very first international tour. We went up and uh, played a few dates in uh, Colorado, a few in Washington. We did our first Monday show, our first Tuesday show, and our first Wednesday show. All oh, with 400, 500 tickets during the week, and I cannot believe it, but I'll tell you something. That promoter would have never gave a shit about us. He would have never paid attention if it wasn't for the good folks here in the United States buying tickets to our shows, man. So thank you guys so much again, seriously. Because if that wasn't enough, our agent called us right after we booked that tour and he says, I've been booking tributes for like 36 years and I'm not sure I've ever delivered this message, but you guys are going to Australia for your first tour down there in April. So we fly out. Thank you. We fly out next Saturday. So we get home from Canada, play Cincy, play Calhoun, Georgia, fly out to Australia this Saturday. But again, we couldn't have done it without you guys coming out to our shows right here in our home state of Ohio, man. So yeah. some, guy, some guy told me, he says, you kill the rock and roll. You kill the rock and roll when you thank your crowd ten times. And I said, that's okay if you feel that way. But I'm going to call bullshit because right now, man, we're so fortunate to be doing the shit that we're doing as a tribute band, man. And we feel so honored and so humbled by that. So I'm sorry if thank you kills the, the crowd, but it's just really overwhelming, man. So well, back to the rock and roll here. Who likes to rock and roll make some noise? Let me hear all the way around the room. Let me hear you say rock. Let's lose the dress, but keep the shoes. Ah! 